It turns out that the math section is one of the easiest ones to raise on the ASVAB. So go ahead and check out this video where I'm going to break down a few of the mathematical questions just so you can get the practice that you need. So number six is a little bit tricky. It says here that AX is larger than BY, where X and Y are both on this line segment AB. So I actually just did counter examples for each of these first three to show you why they're not true. AY could be less than BY. Well, looking here, in this case, I created X and Y on here, and you can see here that AY in this case is actually bigger than XB, so that one's out. Same here, we got AX, I put it right here to be a little bit closer, and by, so it still fulfills this, but does not fulfill this guy here. Here's another example down here. Adding this short guy to this short guy would not be bigger than the whole thing, So, but still does fulfill this one, so that one's out, meaning our only answer here could be D with no counterexample. Half the cube of 4 is what? So first off, let's find the cube of 4. Well, that just means that we're taking 4 times 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16 times another 4 would end up giving us 64. Now we need to take half of that, so what's half of 64? That's going to be 32. Answer D. So number 8 deals with manipulating fractions here. It says that we have a cake that's cut into 36 pieces. So there are 36 pieces here. Now out of there it says that the brother ate 8 over 9 of that and wants to know how many pieces are left. Well in order to get from 9 to 36 you multiply by 4. If we want this to be the same fraction then we multiply this by 4 as well. Well 8 times 4 is 32 meaning that the brother ate 32 of the 36 pieces meaning that there should be 4 left over. Answer A. What is the square root of 81? If you haven't seen this before, it means what number times itself would give you this number? Well, 6 times 6 is 36, 8 times 8 is 64, 9 times 9 is 81, so that's our answer, and 5 times 5 is 25, so answer is C. So for number 10, it says if we plug 4 in for x, which of the following equation would not be an integer? So by integer, it's talking like a whole number here, positive or negative. So in other words, we just have to find something that when we're all finished, is going to give us a decimal or a fraction, not a whole number. Well, 2x plus 16. Well, that's clearly 2 times 4 is going to be 8 plus 16. That's going to give us a whole number. In this case, dividing by 4 could give us an option of not being a whole number. But when we look at this, 2 times 4 and 16 is divisible by 4. So if this is divisible by 4 and so is this, then that's going to give us a whole number. So that's not it. In this case, we're not dividing anything. So there's no way we're going to get brought down to a decimal. And here we have 3x divided by 5. Well, 3 times 4 is 12. 12 divided by 5 is not a whole number. So our answer is D. Now, people, that's only five questions off the ASVAB. So make sure you check out my other videos so that you can keep raising your score in the math sections of the ASVAB. And remember, my name is Daniel Caproni. If you want to help me out in any way, shape, or form, go ahead and hit that like button below. And make sure you subscribe so you can keep getting videos like this one. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I wish you best of luck on your next attempt at the ASVAB.